Hi YouTube and welcome to my 33rd week of pregnancy with Rainbow Baby. Yay! Do y'all know where I'm getting that from when I do this? Y'all know that Spongebob and I'm just not crazy? Remember that one episode where they were in um, the, uh, what is it? They were in a box and he was like, imagination and it made a rainbow. That's where I got that from. I'm not crazy, I swear. But anyways, let's get into it. I um, was supposed to post yesterday, but uh, I, um, I'll explain. I'll explain. Um, my hair is just, it's so big today. It's so big today. Anyways, I'll explain what's going on with me. But let's get into this first. Okay. 33rd week of pregnancy. The baby is 17.2 inches. And um, he weighs 4.23 pounds. Pretty sure my baby is huge. I'm just doing this for y'all because I'm pretty sure my baby is way bigger than that. Um, most babies will start to shift um, head down. And once they get to that position, they tend to stay there because it's comfortable, more comfortable for them. Um, there are some yoga positions or some exercises you can do to help coax the baby to get in that position. If they haven't got to this position, uh, to that position yet, you still have some time. So it's okay, you know, no need to panic. Um, I'm sorry. I'm trying to read where I was. I have all this other stuff written on here. Okay, there. I am. Baby is developing its immune system. Oh, its independent immune system because it's been um kind of living off of, I don't not really living, but you know, coming off of mama. So it was probably really good, you know, if you do vit a lot of vitamin C and stuff like that, help out the baby as well. I will be continuing on doing high vitamin C after I have the baby because I, I am breastfeeding. So I want to make sure everything is good with that. Um, let's see. Okay. That's pretty much it for the baby. Still packing on the fat. i um, going to be packing that on until... It, uh, until you get close to labor, skin is starting to smooth out more because of that. And it's not see-through anymore. It's a nice little pink color. I'm not sure if that goes for African Americans. Probably so. I'm not sure. But yeah, um, fingernails. The fingernails are starting to move. Wait, I think that's... Yeah, I think that's this week or maybe next week. I think I might be getting ahead of it myself. But the fingernails are supposed to be starting to move towards the end of the fingers now. But okay, what's going on with me? I haven't been to the doctor this week. I will be going on the 7th. And I'm, I'm actually positive. And if I'm not, y'all can shoot me. Whatever. But I think I'm actually, I think I'm positive that after my appointment on the 7th, I'm going to be starting to go every week, every week now. So I have one coming up next week and I'll update, you know, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get y'all updated with that. Sorry. Um... He feels like he has dropped even more. I don't know how that's possible, but I feel like he's pretty much, if he dropped any more, I'd be holding him in my thighs. Like, I mean, he's just so far down. And I feel everything. Every little move he makes down there, I feel it. Sometimes it'll be a jolt and I have to catch myself. Because I'm like, oh, he didn't punch me in my bladder. I'm going to pee on myself in public. 
because he's doing way too much. I mean, everything. Like, everything. So, there's that. He's dropped. Um, I have been peeing. I'm sorry, my head is just... I have been peeing a lot more because of it. Like I said, he's been hitting my bladder, so... I get up more often now during the night to go pee and it'll be like all of a sudden I'm in a tight like like it's not like oh I slowly easing up on me and I slowly act oh I might need to go pee soon no it's like bitch go pee right now right now right now you have to go or you're gonna go on this couch and then be like oh gotta go I jump up real quick and run to the bathroom and that's how it's been laying in bed at night like I'm still not sleeping the best but it's better than what it was and so I'll be sleeping just falling asleep getting in there good and comfortable and then all of a sudden go pee like and, and then I have to run down these stairs at night in the dark so it's like it's Ugh. It's, yeah, bad situation. Sometimes I wake up my husband, he's just like, be careful. Going down the stairs. And I'm just like, well, shit, if you hear me fall, I fail. And you're just going to have to come pick me up and come clean up the pee. Anyways. um, It is harder to walk. And everybody who sees me is just like, I will pray for you. <laughs> and I'm just like, please do. Please do, because this is is very uncomfortable. And some people thinking I am further along than what I am. I think the crossing guard at my son's school thinks I'm due any day now because of how big I am. And I'm like, no, I'm only 33 weeks, 34 weeks. No, no time soon. One of the teachers at my son's school asked me today, when are you due? And I'm like, July, July 15th. She's like, you have a whole nother month? Yes. Yes, I do. A whole nother month like this. Yay. Right? So everybody just like look at, and they look at me and they're just horrified. Like you, you poor, you poor little lady. Poor, you poor baby. <laughs> I'm just like, hey. What can you do? He's just, I, I just, I have big babies. I have big babies. Like I said, my son was eight pounds. As long as he doesn't go past eight pounds, then Lord Jesus, if he does. Lord Jesus, if he does. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a horrible situation. Mm. Anyways, um... Okay, there's that. Uh, I started losing my mucus plug a couple of days ago. And, I mean, there's nothing to panic over because every pregnancy is different. Some women losing their mucus plug could mean that they're going into labor that night, next day. Some women, it could be a week couple of weeks all month before you um, go into labor it just depends on who um, who it is and, and the baby and your body so I started losing mine and um, I wasn't sure if it was what it was because mine was clear like I blew my nose in a tissue and I looked it up because some women or not some women but some oh yeah some women of course women but I mean like doctors have also said that you know you'll have a bloody show you know they'll have somewhere that has streaks of blood in it because blood vessels can pop um, when your cervix is opening have a bloody show and some it could be um 
Sorry, I thought I seen something. It could be brown. Um, Mine wasn't. It was clear, mucusy. And it, like, I'm looking at it and it doesn't quite look like the same discharge I've been having. So that's why it's kind of like, this is different. This is a different kind of discharge. And I confirmed it when I looked it up that it was my mucus blood coming out. And I have been losing it for a couple of days now. And it's not big chunks. The very first time it was a big chunk. But then after that, it's just been little pieces. Little pieces on the tissue. So I don't know. And I've still been having contractions. And I'm sure they're Braxton Hicks. They're not constant. They're not um, close together. There's no pattern to them. They're just random. So I'm sure they're, they're Braxton Hicks. <clears throat> Also, after this happened, after I lost my mucus plug, I mean, as you see, I haven't gone into labor, so it might not be labor signs for me, but I started feeling weird, especially when I was laying in bed at night, and not so much as like feeling uncomfortable or um, feeling sick or pain or anything like that. It's I felt weird in my stomach my stomach felt weird I don't, I don't know I don't, and it's really hard to explain how it feels it's just I don't feel right and it this has happened ever since I lost the mucus plug so I don't know what that means um I'm not going to stress about it or freak out about it I'm going to um let my doctor know on the 7th when I go what's been um, going on and uh, oh, sorry, excuse me, and things like that and see what they say. See if they'll, they'll, they'll probably check my cervix, especially since I lost the mu mucus plug. They'll probably check and make sure that it's still closed. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. But here, we're going to do a tummy shot. If I can back up the chair. I have got so heavy, I can't push the chair back no more with me in it. Oh, workout. But there's a tummy shot. And my maternity shirt, this is a maternity shirt, is starting. This is another reason why I know he's dropped. Because... My maternity shirts are starting to rise up over my tummy. Like, they're starting to do this. Like that. And I know people can't see <laughs> my tummy. I, I still feel self-conscious about it because I feel, I feel a breeze. I feel a breeze underneath here, and I'm just like, oh, my tummy's sticking out. This one is starting to rise up a little bit as well. And I wish I had my clothes in storage because I have a lot of sundresses in storage. And if I had my sundresses, I could put them on, and I would feel covered and be comfortable. So here... Is a tummy. Yes, it has dropped a lot because I'm able to breathe a lot more at times, unless I'm sitting down and then everything is pushed up into my chest. See, so yeah. belly button, dark. And there's this side too. And it, like I said, it is hard to walk. It is very hard to work. I feel like a whale. Like I I can't even describe how I feel. It's like I feel really big. And stretch marks running all up in here. It's like all this. All of this right here. 
stretch marks. Straight out like that. That's how my son was. Straight out like that. So maybe I'll bounce back like I did with him. Because at the, well, I don't know. Because at the end of that pregnancy, I was 150. Last time I went to the doctor, I was 150. Yeah. So I'm probably not going to bounce back. Because I had gotten down to 125 before this pregnancy. Before my pregnancy with my son, I was 98 pounds. So, yeah. I want to thank y'all for going on this journey with me. And I hope to see y'all for next week um, for my 34th, yeah, 34th update with Rainbow Baby. And maybe soon I will um, update y'all on the name. We've been calling him I've been calling him Rainbow. I'm calling him Fat Fat as a nickname. Yeah. So maybe we'll we'll decide on a name. So especially if he's probably gonna to try to come early. So yeah. Thank y'all. Love y'all. See y'all next time. Bye.